Hi guys, this is Nomadic Gamer, and this is Armello. When I first heard about it, I was super, super excited. All it had to mention was just cards, and I was there. But it wasn't. It's not. Ex it's not exactly like a card game, like a trading card game. That's not what it is. It's a virtual board game like a 3d virtual board game kind of thing and it looks like they added some stuff like some new stuff since last I played it it's been a while since I played it um, you can play single player multiplayer with your friends um, and it has a, a card gallery of all the cards um, Let's see, and it's it's a beautiful, beautiful world, absolutely beautiful. Um, and I really, really hope that they expand on this world. You know, like like an RPG, an Armello RPG would be freaking amazing. Um, it looks like, but yeah, it's 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 a world of animals and the dis I want to say dissension and like corruption of this kingdom ruled by this corrupt lion um, I imagine I, I guess he didn't used to be evil but there's this force this uh, entity in the world called the rot and you know, it rots you from the inside out, it rots your mind, it rots your motives and, and all of that, which I think is really cool. Um, let's see. And now you can get uh, some of the figurines, which I think is really cool. I mean, dang, you could buy like a handful of the figurines and make your own Armello real life board game. Really cool. Okay. Yes, um, the Stranger 1.2 is the new thing that's hit recently. I'm just going to do single player. I would love to do multiplayer, but I don't have friends to do that yet. All right, can do the prologue and learn how to play a new game. A custom game, which is which is interesting. You can experiment with the house rules to, to create your own. I haven't done that yet. That's new, as I said. I haven't played this in a very long time. But I bought it when it was still um. early launch all right I'm not gonna go through the prologue I'm just going to go to new game these are the characters that you can have um, during the early early launch you only had these four characters a wolf a rat a bear and a hare and then when the game finally launched we have four new characters and I'm going to go with Rain. Okay, I'll just go with that classic die. Um, and they, they all have their own names, their own personalities, their own um, stats, and their own like little special abilities. Like for Thane, for the wolf, um, sword cards, burn in battle, Pierce opponents' defenses, and its combat is based on like a die system. 
Um, but yes, I'm going to go with River. Um, and River shoots her bow for one damage before initiating battle. If a target is killed, she stays her ground. So she's good for like, I guess, not necessarily sniping. <clears throat> and you also get to choose jewels or, or like a ring um, and they each give you something different um, gain stealth on mountains day and night and then the moonstone gain plus one magic for any kill in battle um, spirit is your magic Wits is your hand size for the cards, the body is your health, and then fight is how much damage you do. Or actually, not necessarily how much. I don't think it's how much damage you do. I think it's how much, when you go into battle, that's how many die you start out with. And you also have a jewel. So you have a ring and, and a jewel that helps you. Prestige is good for um, gaining favor with the king, which is good for its own reasons. Um, and these other four, you just gain plus one in the different attributes, I think. Yeah, plus one fight body, wits, and spirit. Um, I'm going to level it out and put plus one in spirit. And I'm ready. Now, the, the other characters, um, well, of course, because it's AI, you know, everybody is against everybody. There's only going to be one winner. Yeah. From the wolf to bear, the clans declare, the time has come to take the throne. For rats creeping, it twists our king. Heroes rise, save our mellow. The race for the throne has begun. So, the king is already corrupt. He has nine days until he dies and each day at the end of each day he loses um, a heart choose a quest the other heroes have all dropped the ball you're the only one I can trust here's what I know and at the beginning of each each uh, turn you are given like a little quest to do and they give you different things depending upon your stats so obviously if you have like one and fight the odds of you getting this one is super low but I mean even if you don't win it you still get the stats like it gives you plus one looks like it gives you plus one prestige that's new yes prestige is key to holding political sway in the kingdom um, at dawn, the king will give you like two different like little cards that affect all the players or the game, the board. Um, so with this, you choose a quest, and then once you, once you, I can't find words. <laughs> Once you complete the quest, you're given three new sets of quests to pick. So say if I wanted um, more magic or more hand size, I would pick this one and it would give me plus one in that attribute. Um, and then if you win a Wits Challenge reward, it will give you it will give you certain things. 
like spirit stones. I'm sorry, there's just so much to uh, say to explain. Spirit stones, uh, if you win like three of them, you they are used to cure the king. In the in the early stages of the game, it used to be that you could steal the stones from other players, and I I liked that idea. I really did, but they they did away with that. Um, so, and there's different ways of winning the game. You can do the spirit stone route. You can do the uh, opposition of killing the king and thereby ruling Amelo yourself. Uh, or you can do the rot win, which I think is the hardest um, and the rot win is you gain more rot than the king and then you go and you kill him and I think there was a fourth one but I forget um, and then these Okay, this is plus one wits, you get a spirit stone. This is plus one in fight, and you get a card, an equipable card. After battle, if you survive, your opponent suffers minus two health, and you gain one rot. And then this is plus one in magic. They call it the wild. If killed in battle, the squire takes the hits instead and dies. That sucks for him. Um, so I'm pretty even, like, uh, you know, all across the board almost. Um, let me try for the fight. And I forgot to read the, the actual quest thing. Um, but you can... You can fan out, you can zoom in, you can move across the board, oops, move across the board. Um, the kingdom is in the middle of the board. Um, this area here, um, they give you health. If you have too much rot, you will lose health. These are, um, dungeons where you can find extra coin, extra magic, ex uh, extra other little treasures. That would have been cool though, if it could have been like a weird little mini game, but I, but I understand why, you know, it's, if it could have been like in eh, maybe any other different game, you could do that, like you could have like a little mini game where you go into these, into these actual dungeons and it becomes something different but I understand you want to be quick with with this with these things okay AP um, okay that just shows that I okay she starts with three so I can move three tiles at, at a turn oh and these are cities too cities give you gold um, planes don't do anything, they're just, um, forests give you stealth at night, um, swamps, you lose one health, mountains, you gain, it's, it's minus two AP to climb them, but you gain one shield, one extra shield in battle, and this is where I need to go my quest marker and I think I'm going to grab the town first now these are the cards and it looks like they changed the font they boldened the letters and made them I want to say bigger, easier to just read at a glance. Um, and 
the artwork for the cards, they all move in some capacity. It's really cool. Um, let's see. The upper, the upper right of a card, the symbol, you know, uh, will come into handy if you want to, you know, in combat. You can also burn cards in order to gain favor. And like this one, it's, it's the wild symbol, the tree. And, uh, um. If you burn it, you, you the die will roll an extra time. And then with this, if you're at night, you can gain a shield, I think. And that's another tree. And then with this, if you burn it, you will automatically gain a shield. Your, your die becomes that but the trees are good because you get two extra die for it which I think is cool um, and they caught the cost like the cost some of them cost magic to cast some of them cost gold to cash or I mean gold to cast um, and it grants stealth on every tile until end of target's next turn so you can be invisible to every single player play to hero play to creature and battle opponents have minus two dice until end of target's next turn so them having less dice is always good. But yes, yes, yes. Battle is corresponded to dice. Alright, ending my turn. And there is a day and night cycle. And I really like how they changed it. Where as the turns go, it gets darker and darker. Alright. And that's something new that they implemented. Um, there's always a spirit stone on the board, so you can try for that. Or not. But right now, I'm... Huh, the... St the audio is just kind of terrible all of a sudden. Alright, is there anything I can use? I'm going to go for the dungeon. And I gained extra gold. And you can also see down here, you know, what happens between players. Um. I really want to keep this because of the the symbol, but I also want to use, you know, like my card. Just so that I can also show, um,
I'm gonna save that one. Okay, and that creature, the crow type creature, that's a physical manifestation of the rot. Okay, and it's day now. Okay, that's the King's Madness is apparent. All heroes swap their hand of cards with another random hero. Oh my. Okay. Well, at least now I get, you know, if you use any of your cards, you know, whether it's day, whether it's night, you get to choose. Items usually cost gold. Spells cost magic, of course. Trickery is about the rot. Um... For the most part, and also about you know being shady, you know, with other pe with other players. Um, feral. Tower shield. That's new. And battle plus one shield. And then defending again. Another plus one shield. All right. Both heroes gain plus one gold per turn until either hero dies. Okay, these are equipable. And three, four, five. Perfect. Now you can equip three items. And you can equip, you know, three followers as well. And here we are at a destination. And this is called a peril, and they give you. Okay. Oh, darn. Well, it's not a big deal. Oh, but I didn't think I would. And it's not a big deal because I didn't have any gold. Pruning weeds. Staghorn pines have been turned into a den of thieves. Their camps stretch to every corner of the woods. Take them all on at once. And if I do, minus two health. Or minus two health if I lose. Or, no test required and I just gain the stats. I still gain the stats here, but I get a chance of getting this equipable. Uh, the ruffians swarm you from every direction. There are more than you thought. You see you overestimated your skill and are forced to flee. But I can easily go into a uh, a stone circle to gain health. But yes, that that um I just did with the king when I stepped down there, it was called a peril, and there are some cards that are called perils, um, and you can place upon the board. Um, the other player sees that there's a peril there. Yeah, they changed uh, the way the trees look. The forest. But yeah. Mm. 
But some perils are invisible, I think. But when, when you place it on the board, other players see that there's a peril there, but they don't know what it is or what it does. And... And that's how you either pass or fail it, is by a dice roll. Everything is, is determined by a dice roll. Ah. And during this playthrough is something called Rumors. Another hero. There's a few of you running around. Still, you look tough. You might be up to some real work. Okay. Alright, I missed out on that one, but that's for hand size. Let me try for a rogue warlock has blocked the pass over the mountain strand, stranding many of my friends in the cold. Please go and save them. <laughs> That will give me extra health. And the point of the game is to eradicate the king as, you know, to be the first to do so. Um, you, right now, you can follow the quests around and at the end, the quests. See, I have no gold, but I have more magic, so it makes sense. It would make sense to use magic. Let me gain an extra health, and I'm gonna need it. Let me show you how combat works. And see, so that was her special ability. When she goes to attack, she snipes him. So they are, are automatically given damage. Okay, I'm going to burn these these two cards. So I gain two shields. My two of my dice turn into shields. Um, so I have three defense. And with the rot, oh, I guess you can allow. And because I got the tree. And I killed it. And they didn't kill me. I thought I had time to do that, but. And once you kill either a rot, and I gain magic too, okay. Um once you once you kill somebody, whether it's another hero or a um A rock creature you gain prestige and I think you gain prestige from killing the um, the guards as well but if you go to attack them you automatically are given a bounty on your head and the bounty is anybody can kill you and gain the bounty But I think this would be a much more fun game with other people. And they have like a kind of a chat kind of thing going on. You know, look out for, go for, watch, proclaim.
fugitives unleash. The king releases all prisoners of the crown. New king's trickery perils appear across the kingdom. That's the perils I was talking about. You can see that there's perils there, but you don't know what they are. And you can look. This is. Oops. Right. And again, two gold. Um, I have no magic. Yeah, my hand size is super small. Alright. Let me overtake the city. Okay, this is a bounty. Um, you have a king's bounty on your head for three gold and one prestige. And it can be it can be cleared with a pardon or by death. Other heroes can claim your bounty. So, so let's say someone is about to take the king or take siege to the castle. Or for whatever reason, you can put a bounty on their head. And you can also put a bounty on their head and then try to kill them. Oh, that is equipable. And you can also check and see, this is your stats. Um, ah. And they do have kind of like... And not only that, but you can also look at the other character's stats. Um, and that's the king, and you can see... Blackheart, the king is always corrupted and gains plus one rot every dusk. And then loses health every day. You can see what people have what they're equipped with um, that way if you have a card that says oh hey you can steal a random equipment from so and so you know you can see what people have and see if that card's worth anything or not then they have this you know quests I think there's like I think there is a quest for every for every day almost or at least maybe like a small five six seven seven quests or something and at the end it leads you up to the uh... oops I knew that was gonna happen anyway that's where I wanted to go great they got more gold um, I'm gonna do one more one more round and then I will save this and do another video for it later on and it's possible you know for both characters to kill themselves but dying is not really a big deal in this game. It's all about stacking things up and And I think when you die you lose prestige. So if you wanted to go after the prestige leader, you could and as he dies and loses prestige, by killing him you gain prestige. And then prestige. Oh yeah, that's the other win. A prestige win. Uh oh. Okay. I've got to win this. I'll just throw this into the fire. I 
And again, really? I already did three damage to her. Okay. And there's the blow. I love playing as the wolf. And I'm super glad that... And I got the bounty as well. So I gained extra prestige for that. Yeah, the audio at night is... Not the best. Okay, um... Alright, this is actually a new card. Creates a toxic minus one health vault on the tile until next dawn. Interesting. So, I... Minus one health for magic spent when cast. Costs all remaining magic. That's actually pretty good. So I killed him. <laughs> and steal two gold from all heroes. It costs like I don't need to do that. Dice will not explode. I'll honor targets next turn. I don't really get that. But. The Blizzard of Hate. The mountain was a formidable foe on its own, but the warlock's evil magic sweeps over you in a blanket of freezing air and bitter cold. And if I win, I get the minor. Let me try that. Yes! You push forward, relying on strength alone. How did you... The warlock never finishes her words of surprise. Your blade ends her life. And we got the minor. In mountains, gain plus one gold and a bonus shield. I don't usually spend much time in the mountains, but I'll use that anyway. Um, let me come down and get more health. And uh, that's going to have to be this episode. Um, our Mellow is a very unique and interesting game very different uh, and they definitely created a wonderful beautiful and rich world that I can't wait to see more of I, I would love to see them expand expand beyond this digital board game and make something else like like a different kind of game like an RPG would be wonderful I think or like a platformer action platformer but there's going to be another video to this I'm going to play until the session is completed if you enjoyed this video click that like button subscribe oh I'm sorry yes Sub subscribe for more uh, gaming content um, on Mellow is available on Steam um, it's I want to say it's it's 
$19.99, either that or $24.99. I think it's $24.99, but again, because it's Steam, you know, wait, wait for a sale if you can. So, I will see you next time. Bye.